so hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video we're going to talk about what you should know about the c6 social studies exam if you're interested just like comment share and subscribe and let's get into it all right so the c6 social studies exam um i'd say it's not the hardest subject but basically i'm just going to be kind of reiterating what i said in this video right here while also just uh, kind of like explaining the C6 social studies exam a bit more and how you can get a grade 1 in C6 social studies. So if you're interested, let us just begin. C6 social studies is actually not, um, I'd say, one of the hardest subjects. But basically, the C6 social studies exam has three, has three um, sections. You have section A which is individual, family, and society. Section B, sustainable development and use of resources, development and, yeah, basically use of resources, regional integration. But in section C is actually um, the part that you get to choose between communication, consumer affairs, tourism, etc. Right? So, basically, the C6 social studies exam um, has a paper one and a paper two, and it has an SBA component. So for the SBA component, um, for my SBA, what did I do my SBA on again? Some improper drainage thing. I think that was it. Some improper drainage in maybe Jamaica or in rural area, something like that. But I think my topic was improper drainage, and yeah, my SBA did really really well. But then when I did it, so the first thing if you want to get a grade one in C six social studies is to ensure that you have a good 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 really good sba because um for me i think that c6 social studies is one of those subjects that you know you can really grasp like it's not a subject that i'd say if you don't love reading and if you don't like information then you're not gonna like it but if you actually kind of like reading and those stuff then c6 social studies will be an easy exam for you to pass but basically it's good if you can try to do your best on the SBA. Like if you match up the SBA, you're literally quarter, you're quarter to the to the finish line already. If you can do that SBA and do it really well. But basically it's important that you cover like you see the three sections I mentioned just now. It's important that you are able to basically explain the content out of those three sections basically. Because guess what? For the paper one, it's really a multiple choice situation to be honest. And everybody knows that you can also pass papers and stuff like that in order to pass. In my other video about this um, C6 social studies, I mentioned that the best teacher on YouTube for social studies would be C6 so, um, social studies Suarez, right? I mentioned that he was the one who helped me when I was doing my CXE exam back then. I mean, I tell you, I said the past papers them did really carry me straight, 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 straight through for the paper one, and that's why I ended up with my grade one. I mean, I tell you, I said, yes, if you follow those paper ones, the multiple choice, you know, if you follow them, because I guess what they repeat, they repeat each year. If you do multiple from multiple years, I mean, I tell you, I say, you can mash up the paper one along with your already good SBA, right? So for the SBA part, you need to ensure, say, you actually have follow along with the teacher throughout the like academic year. You don't want to just be a stuck off and last minute you just bam, 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 one little cheap, one little idiot SBA or all SBA with the line and you know, better do the research, you know, better do the experiment. Because of mine, I did um, a survey thing, right? No, you don't want to patch up a little something, man. you don't want to basically tell lion. Basically, you know, but I don't know. You just chuck me just some flaws or some fake results. Do not do that. Whatever your topic is, ensure say, you try as best as possible to actually carry it out just to make the information that you provide be more legitimate, more believable. If you get what I say, don't just go say, all right. I go just do whatever I feel like and blah 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 and you patch up a little something and you, you see you get low grade then you feel like you're really like any one ball like nobody with that C6 social studies is a subject that you can do well on if you actually pay attention to it throughout the academic year and focus so SBA out the way, paper one out the way you already know how to match up paper one already by doing past papers so you can either download the past papers on C6 past papers at com print them and actually go through them one by one and see if you remember the answers then you can do that or 
I think our money for waste like that, I print paper. Just literally go on YouTube, see sex questions with the stories. I'm going to literally have all of them when I work on the internet. I'm going to tell you that did get me through back then. I'm going to tell you when you watch them. You see, if you watch the first video, you probably don't realize nothing yet. You know? You see, when you watch, like, for example, a 2015 paper, then you go watch a 2016 paper, then you watch a 2017 paper, you watch a 2018 paper, you watch a 2019 paper, and then you say, well, hold on. Missing questions from um, 2015 and 2019, you realize, oh, the questions them kind of overlap. You realize that, and you're like, oh, but me not mash up the exam, you mash up the paper while just like that. So it's all about you having the right strategy to go about it. Now, the part that you can't really say cheat, or can I like get away with with social studies is the paper two and basically that's how um you basically will kind of like have the essay type questions where they basically they ask the question and you get the answer and you justify all that stuff please practice questions that, that are no like rubbish that's very important that is very 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 important and bear in mind that the paper two is usually worth the most marks the paper one exam is one hour and one fifty minutes to do sixty multiple choice questions, and the paper two is two hour and thirty minutes to answer those questions. Remember, see have section A, section B, and section C. Section A and section B is no options; you have to fill those out. And on section C, you have to say, right, you have an option as to which which question you want to answer in the section C. So we kind of understand that part already. So it means that section A and section B should be like a mandatory top more you say. Alright, if me even know in a section C, me need to know everything in a section A and section B. And then you can even, I would not advise anybody to do for a section C, just leave out one of the topics them. So for me, I would say, oh, just study tourism if you're only going to answer the tourism question. Or, oh, just study the communication and leave the consumer happy. I would just, I would advise nobody to do that. I would advise that everything you see in the syllabus and you see these sections that CXC has provided for C6 social studies, ensure that you know something upon everything. You get me saying? Because you don't want to go in an exam and let's just say, for example, on the paper one, you got a question and let's just say that this was not a question, maybe it repeated a long time ago, you know, but maybe you never saw that paper. And say something like, oh, you decided to you not study no tourism. It was a tourism question. And guess what? For this question, let's just say you never have the answer. So if you did actually study the tourism content, then you would say, oh, I have an idea, I know this about, because I did study. So basically studying is to back up whatever the past year presented short you up. That is the purpose of it, to back it up, if you get what I'm saying. So, do not leave out any part of it and say, oh, if you know the past, oh, no, no, if this, uh, don't do that. Right? Do not do that. But... Basically, um, for section C, ensure you know everything. Let's just say, for example, you know the so section C can either be communications, consumer affairs, or tourism for the paper too. You would not want to go in there and only prepare for the tourism question, for example, sake. And then when you go in there, you say, no man, the way all them ask this tourism question or the way this tourism question is set up, actually, maybe this would not be the best option for me, right? The MSA? Because it depends on how the questions are set up in the exam. So you do not want to only prepare for one and you go in there and say and for example you see one question for communication and you say but this question would have been way more simple if me did just study the part there you get me I say so do not leave any part or ensure so you know something about everything pan pan the cxe syllabus you get me I say and especially follow the sections them so know how to answer the questions properly and learn how to justify your answers them properly as well and okay, no matter if you want to give answer or whatever you know but you see if the justification partner really and make it make sense make it make sense you get me i say so practice the writing aspect to go with it right so guys you know have all the time go up on youtube search social studies um with stories i think a uh, youtube channel is called csec think or something like that they also have a lot of past papers of csec social studies um what else you have csec past papers that come you can download past papers so guys, they really have no excuse as to why you're not going to well on this like social studies exam. But basically, that is the structure of the paper. That is how you need to prepare. Look through the syllabus, do the past papers then. Go through the syllabus and say, alright. For example, if you see like maybe March come and you say, well, hold on. 
how come me not see all of these content this information because the syllabus is a lot more detailed so for example these three sections that we talk about just now those are broad sections so guess what go to the syllabus and they will literally have the specific terms them in there you do not want to go in the exam especially the paper too them ask about a term and you can't you don't know what the term mean you're not problem so dear reading guys read your notes literally follow the teacher throughout the, the academic year don't be make it be a situation where you are got a class him and it's one month before exam you say miss 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 sir 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 me learn not me need to follow you help me you don't want to be that person you do not want to be that person so go to your syllabus ensure you say you yeah, get the key because for me me think with social studies you know it's all about knowing you know so you see once you understand the key terms them you can mash up the exam once you explain once you can explain the context of it once you can really explain what the term is saying and how to basically apply it to like real caribbean walk one and the caribbean right now then basically i think you can do well for social studies straight up straight up i can do that so that's interesting go to the syllabus know the terms them do your past papers them download when if you download um check out cc social studies so I's youtube channel even my channel have one bag of um videos in the cc playlist you can go and check that out as well but they have literally no excuse as to why you will not do well on your exam but basically guys i'll just leave it at that remember it's a paper one Paper 2 and also the SBA, try to do your best in both exams and try to have a good SBA, don't slack off, study hard and basically that's the end of today's video, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and bye guys.